Uh, I'm Yuan Silas. I've been teaching in the quantum architecture in UPS for almost 50 years now. I've been also involved uh, for a long time working with the local government of Abaya, starting from the master plan up until the uh, arrangements of getting better environmental quality. Uh, we have been assigned to prepare a large, about 45 hectare final disposal area for the city waste, and it will be one of the uh, ecological sensitive parks in the city. We have plenty of parks, and about one third of the city is designated for green area. This area has also an interesting bamboo forest. The challenge that city face is the lack of open space. It happens not only to the city of Surabaya, but also to many cities in Indonesia. But Surabaya may be in the forefront in getting that we have sufficient open area for uh, green and recreation of the population, especially those living in the low-income people area because they lack space to create sufficient green area. One of the important places that has been designated and now under construction is the former disposal area for the final waste uh, dumping ground. It is about 45 uh, hectare on the eastern part of the city. Now, uh, we have a plan to make the eastern part that is bordering the sea as a special ecological area. And the challenge that we, we wanted to turn uh, this disposal area into something more important for people rather than just ugly and uh, bad smelling area. Uh, there are self-built housing nearby and that will then also be taken care of that they can still live in a better area. In 2005, finally, the disposal area was closed, but uh, it need time for, for turning that into some useful area because of the ecological risk. And it took about uh, more than 10 years, almost 10 years, that uh, from the monitor, monitoring that we have done there, that the area has been saved from any kind of pollution from uh, the leaches, the gas that has been disposed, and also the uh, chemical uh, uh, risk has been all monitored and they are already below the, the minimum standard. So we, we consider that the area is now uh, safe for a uh, good uh, park, electro ecological park, and also there will be uh, personal housing available, especially for those now living in the area, but also it will cater for other people working in close in this area. Basically, the, uh, the, the 45 hectare uh, is divided into four different areas. On the top left, there is this uh, flower garden. Different kinds of flowers will be planted down there. And to the right, we have this uh, management and housing area. There will be about five to eight blocks of uh, flats being built for low-income people, basically. And it will uh, rise until, until 15 or maybe 20 floors. By now, a uh, 12 uh, floor flats is under, under preparation and hopefully to be built this year. On the left side below, there is this uh, active uh, recreation area. And on the ran, uh, right below, there is the wetland area where you have these water types of uh, environmental activities. Uh, to the most right, uh, right area, uh, we will have a cemetery since uh, there is also lack of uh, place for cemeteries. Now this uh, new park 
as I call to the environmental park, where people not only enjoy activities in an environmental friendly situation, but also learning to be to behave better in an environmental area. So all the, the activities, uh, how we deal with the uh, preparation, the tools that are being used in the building, all have to be uh, very uh, sensitive environmental uh, consideration. So basically it will be a green building, green area, green spot and so on. Uh, no vehicle cars allowed in, inside. There will be pockets for uh, car parks on the outside. Uh, actually, adjacent to the south of this park are the main cemetery for this important city. So, hopefully, uh, combinedly, it will add into the space for a public green area. These are some illustration. Uh, on the left, we are we are seeing this uh, flower garden, uh, cycle tracks, and also these wetland activities and a special graveyard that will be on the most eastern part of the area. Uh, there will be basically a covered area to some limited extent. Car can enter, but not necessarily to in the inner part. For those old people that wanted to, since it's a large area, wandering around, there will be electric car available. The, our institute has developed four types of electric cars, and it has been tested to run from Jakarta, the capital city, to Surabaya. And it proved that the car is uh, quite good enough, and uh, we hope, hopefully that in the near future, Cars will be, electric cars will be available for those who want to wander around the big park. These are the, uh, the combination between the land and the sea area. Yes. The challenge that city face is the lack of open space. It happens not uh, another uh, uh, gate that we provide. And the park will be called the Harmony Park, since this will show how we can harmonize ourselves between man and nature. These are buildings that will provide for food, recreation, and so on. And also, uh, basically, it is uh, environmental friendly based on the tropical uh, climate architecture. Local material are used. We try to use as less as possible uh, factory produced materials. This will be the design of the flat. These are this example of the low rise flat, but uh, in the future there will be also the high rise flats. All will be designated for low income people and they will play very, very cheap. Uh, uh, just 30,000 to 80,000 rupiah per month rent, and one dollar is uh, by now 1150,000. So you can consider yourself that is very, very cheap. Now, uh, there are at least five important things that we can learn from this application. First, that something ugly, something bad, something uh, bad smelling area can turn into a very nice area where people can learn also and enjoy the environment. Secondly, this is also the, the, the endowment demonstration area reinforcing the biodiversity that has been the, the uh, main program in Surabaya. Where we not only create green area, but also we take to look after the biodiversity aspect. And thirdly, it will become an area where we can educate by uh, recreation and sport to the people of Surabaya and the environmental issues. And the fourth issue is that uh, the well-being of the community around this area will also be taken care of. Basically, we hope that people that visit this area will be he healthier if they live uh, 
that area. And finally, we hope that the uh, enhancement of the environment will also be uh, something that the low-income people can can enjoy in a, a well looked after and well planned environmental situation. We also hope that since Surabaya has a lot of things to offer in terms of how you should manage the city, hopefully that other cities and towns around the, the area in East Java as well as in Indonesia in general can also learn from what we are doing down here. I think uh, in many parts of the cities in the country, we have what we call the lost space. This is an example of of which a lost space has been turned into well used and benefit space. But also important to mention here is that this park is not only uh, built and financed through the city budget, but also there's a lot of support from other area. In fact, much more than what the city can afford to pay. Basically, also uh, companies that have the corporate social responsibility fund uh, have been designated some of the fund and analysis of the, uh, this uh, project. And I think uh, there will be uh, impact to the stakeholders. Of course, the area that used to be um, uh, avoided because of the smell and uh, the, the, the view of garbage can now enjoy a very nice park. Of course, there will be an increase in property value. And by itself, a lot of people is needed to run, to maintain, and to, to look after the parks and all its facilities. So we will create also job opportunity, and also since a lot of people is coming there, we will teach the people living around here to produce goods that are environmental friendly, so to the so-called uh, biofoods. And uh, finally, uh, we hope that this area will also uh, open new opportunity for the city. And I think with that short explanation, I hope it, it will enlighten you and also you are better informed. And of course, we are open for any question. Thank you.